It's that time, folks. It's NCAA Retro Bowl Mania time. And we're traveling over to the West Coast, over to Oregon, as your Mighty Ducks take on our midshipmen. Let's get straight to the action, folks. And Oregon gets the ball first, and they go three and out and get the ball to um, your Navy midshipmen. Where they start off at their 41-yard line. Oh, and a five-yard carry by Taylor Swain. We've got about second and five here. And this guy has had a great season so far where he's rushed for about 1,600 yards so far within the season. He has really uh, gotten off. Now we've got third and three. There's a handoff. And he busts the line. There he goes. A 13-yard carry right there, and there, yes, in Oregon Territory. Here we go, first and 10. And there you go. Oh, one-yard carry right there. Tried to bust through the line, but nothing happening. We haven't seen B.J. Nada yet. And speaking of him, here he goes. And Nada with a five-yard carry. He's had an awesome or excellent last couple of weeks also. And we're going third and four. And Nada keeps it himself. Is he going to be able to get it? He gets it with a six-yard carry. And they move the chains once again. They're on the move. And there you go. They give it to Swain. Oh, and four yards right there. They're really keying in on him right now. And we've got second and six. Nada. Oh, gets it to one of a rare pass to the tight end right there. And I don't know what happened at that moment. The tight end must have had blocks for hands or ice something because it went straight through. Oh, and there we go, Swain. The five, four. And forget the 3 2 1, he's already in the end zone for the touchdown. And your midshipmen are up. Six to nothing. And Swain's got it. It's a race to the end zone, and he gets in. Or not, excuse me, the quarterback, and it's 8 0. And Oregon's moving all the way down. They score a touchdown. What an answer. They go for the two point conversion and tie it up. With only 10 seconds left in the first quarter, we've got a game, folks. Wow, now BJ Nada, earlier, last couple games, looked like he hasn't been able to hit the uh, broad side of the ocean. So that's why he hasn't been passing the ball that much. Oh, but he hasn't had to because you've got the man, the myth, Taylor Swain right there with a 38-yard carry. And once again, they're over in Oregon Territory. And it's first and ten. There it is. Oh! And there you go, Swain! He breaks to the 20, 15, 10. And folks, he's going in the end zone! 40 yards for the touchdown. And like I mentioned before, it's only uh, so long that you can bottle him up. Because he is that devastating where... At some point, he's got that breakaway home run hitting speed. And they're up 16-8. to eight, And Oregon once again turns the ball over. And there it is, a handoff to Swain. Oh, Swain! What a move right there! 13 more yards. And he's already been a factor this uh, first half. There we go. It's a handoff. Oh, nothing that time. Good D. Oregon's got a pretty stingy defense here, but haven't looked so stingy so far. Oh, and he lets Swain get to the outside. And another 11 yards there. They move the chains. And here we go. Nada's. He gets it to Swain right there. An 11 yard screen pass right there. And they move the chains once again. Oh, nice catch, but he gets blasted right there. And it's second and four. Nada. 
He pulls it down himself. Uh-oh. Is he going to... Oh, looked like he may have gotten into the end zone right there, but nice diving tackle. And we've got first down and goal. Oh, and a two-yard carry right there. I think they missed the um, receiver who was wide open and who was split out right right there. I think they could have went there. But no matter, you got the man, the myth, Taylor Swamey, scores a touchdown. And they're up 22 to 8 right now. There's a pass. Oh! The pass was supposed to go to Swaim. And of course, Nada, as you can see right there, overthrew him. This guy, excuse me, is going to have to get better. And they're going to look to replace him because that was a point blank pass right there. Here's a handoff right there. Oh! And Swaim, four yards right there. Broke a tackle, but was bottled up. We've got second and six. We've got an audible right here. There's a handoff. Oh, and he bounces it outside. There he goes. Oh, 11-yard carry right there. Looked like he was about to take it to the house. Oh, nice tackle right there. And stops him for one of his few uh, losses. A gain all season long. A great play. But no matter, he bounces it outside that time, gets six more yards. And they're looking at a long third and five this time. So let's see what they're going to do this time. I think, I don't know if they're going to pass it. I want to go back to pass. And they get to Swain this time. And instead of running, oh, he catches it and gets a 21-yard pass play right there. Good call right there because they are loaded up the box right there. They are looking to stop him. And there's another screen. He goes to the inside. Oh, breaks a tackle. It's another 11 yards right there. The clock is moving, and they're inside the uh, red zone. Oh, and a two-yard carry right there. Really made a little something out of nothing because it didn't look like there was anything going that time. And there's a handoff. Oh, and Swain, oh, broke a tackle, but then was grabbed by his leg right there. And it's third down and goal. I think they're going for the screen. And they get it to him. And they psych him out once again. What a uh, excellent game plan right there. He's gone to the screen pass uh, multiple times. And they're going for it again. Oh, and unfortunately, Nada overthrows him, and right there, which was an easy two-point conversion, messes up right there. Navy's got the ball. Once again, it's uh, two minutes left in the fourth quarter, 28-11. to 11. Game's still not over yet, folks. There's a handoff. Oh, three yards right there. And moving the chain. Well, not moving the chains. It's second down. And they're loading up the box right here. Oh, so I see the tight end is wide open right there, and they get the first down. Wow, I think uh, this might be a career day for B.J. Nauta right here as he's completed about five or six passes today. Uh-oh. Oh! And look at this! It's off! Swain breaks a couple of tackles. He's to the 30. The 20. He looks like he's running out of steam. Oh, but he gets a 51-yard run right there. That just shows you his uh, power as he broke a couple of tackles and still brought that into a 50-yard uh, play. Nada pulls it down. And he's moving it. Oh, five yards. Looked like he had slipped between both of them. He was looking to go into the house. We're looking at second and five. Uh-oh. And uh, Swain, a tough two yards right here. And it's bringing up third and three. Really, he's going to have to get the touchdown because it's right there. 
Oh! It was right there at the goal line. And he was just too fast for him. And there you have it. Uh-oh. And Nada's going to skip into the end zone right there and make it 36 to 11. And, folks, that's it. Your Navy midshipmen are successful on their trip over to the Pac-12 as they beat the Oregon Ducks, who usually has a high-powered offense, but Chip Kelly's not there anymore. As you can see, let's go on and take a look at the stats. They're talking about wide receiver Jonah Culkin didn't play well. Well, if he had a, or a quarterback that could throw it to him, then maybe he might uh, have played a bit better. All right. And as we level up our uh, players real quickly, uh, uh, leveling up our DB, All right, let's take a look real quick. B.J. Nada completed seven passes out of nine attempts for 64 yards. All world right there. And four rushes for 22 yards. That was probably a bit more impressive right there. And we go to the man, the myth. 23 carries for 234 yards. 10-point average. Brings him up to 1,811 yards for the season so far. He's uh, almost going to rush for 2,000 yards in a half a season. Amazing. Tight end, no catches. Culkin, one pass for six yards. And as you know, Culkin had the game winner last week. And great blocking by Sidney Shaw. Great blocking also by Cason Custis. And folks, that's it on another edition of NCAA Retro Bowl Mania and your Navy Midshipmen. Another uh, impressive outing. This one wasn't as close as it was last week, but they got the job done. And we're getting ready to move into a bye week so we can recharge the energy, the battery, so to speak, of the players. So... We're going to see you next week, and it looks like they're going to be playing Boise State someone next uh, time. So we're just going to say see you next week. Beat Army, or Go Navy Beat Army. And last but not least, Anchors Away.